So yeah, we're here, man. Finally. Finally. After some long planning and contemplating of we should do this, we shouldn't do this, we finally decided to do this, and uh, yeah, the excitement is a lot. Hey, you know, last year we even started that. I don't know if you remember when we started that WhatsApp group. We always used to talk about podcasting. We need to start. Never happened, but yeah, 2022. You're finally here. You're finally here. No, uh, in the middle of the year, but better late than never, they say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, better late than never. True, true, true. So yeah, to our viewers, uh, welcome to our first episode. Um, currently, we don't have we don't have the name for our show. Um, we are running a few names here and there. Um, like I, like we said, we've been thinking about starting a podcast for a long time now. Um, we haven't. Um, so for our viewers, um, this is like our first ask. If you can just uh, drop a comment there, suggest a name for our podcast. Um, so today's episode will be very light. We're generally just going to um, introduce ourselves and um, speak about what the podcast is um, going to do, um, the subjects we're going to have, um, what light you're going to be shining and so forth. Yeah. What basically moti motivated us to start a podcast and then, yeah, maybe if, uh, if we first start with the name suggestions and then from there on then we take it. I've been thinking, I've been thinking about no cap. I mean, as a podcast, we want to tell the truth, we want to tell my truth, we want to tell your truth. And every time we have a guest here, we want to hear their truth as well. So I was thinking, no cap. Yeah, no cap. We don't want to sugarcoat anything. We want to tell it as it is. So, yeah, no cap was one of them. The other one was um, Owela. So as you know, Owela in Oshiwambo means uh, the game. So... Reminds me of that controversy. And the color of the moon, Malo, no Owela, you know? Yeah, I know. That was also pretty good, eh? That was a pretty good one. Yeah, so maybe between no cap and Owela. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and obviously what the, the viewers would suggest also, I mean, we are, we are making this podcast generally for you guys. Um, yeah, and we hope you guys are going to be with us for this ride. Um, we hope to make this a weekly thing. It's not going to be one of those things where we start and then in the middle we're going to stop. We really hope um, we can put out an episode every week. We hope that's basically that's the plan. We hope we can keep to that. So, my name is Ananias Hambodi. Um, I go well by the alias 8.0. Um, it's, it's a story for another day, pretty long one. Um, so, currently, I work in IT. I'm a father, I have a beautiful daughter, and yeah, I'm a, I'm a family guy. Yeah. Tangeni Kwebi, best known as TK, so everyone calls me TK. And then at work, they decided to call me AK, which uh, I understand, even though it doesn't make kind of make sense. Half a kilo. Uh, yeah, but yeah, TK is the name. I'm I'm an air traffic controller by profession, so yeah, that that's a brief introduction about myself. And then um, I'm sure the viewers will want to know how how we met or how we've known each other. So I've known and yes for about I think three years now. Three years, um, we, were, we were doing the same course at traffic control, so he's also an ex air traffic controller. Once air traffic controller, oh, always air traffic controller. Yeah. Put me in the tower <laughs> any day, you know, any day, I'm ready. <laughs> so he's an ex uh, air traffic controller, but he also has an IT background, so he's, 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 he's back on the IT stuff, I guess. The, the computing lab is just. It's, it's also crazy that we are both here. Um, we both have IT background. I mean, if you don't work in IT, but sure. you also you did IT university, uh, and now you're an air traffic controller. So yeah, that's crazy. How I mean, how many um, air traffic controllers do you know that have done IT? Yeah, it's like it's intertwined or something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yes, uh, again to our viewers, welcome to the podcast. Um, this podcast will be streamed on Volvicha TV on our. On the Volvicha TV YouTube channel. Currently, we have about uh, 26,000 subscribers, if I'm not, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. Um, we're going to make the podcast also available on um, what do we call them? Podcast streaming channels, I think, like Apple Podcasts, Deezer, yeah. uh, yeah, Spotify, Spotify, also, yes. yeah, those ones. Uh, 
uh, guys, uh, this this podcast is gonna be massive. We can promise you that um, Rome wasn't built in one day. So we're gonna start off step by step. But also, we wanna have people from different walks of life. Just you know, uh, being part. Not the, yeah. We just wanna have people involved in the podcast. So we what what we intend to do is um, as as. Tangani said we want to make this podcast big, but we will take it one step at a time, one day at a time. But we want to make it sort of a family type of podcast where people can tune in on a weekly. Every time when we drop an episode, we want people to listen in. We want to be in tune with our viewers. We want to see the comments. Uh, we want to hear suggestions. Um, we want to have suggestions on who to bring on to the podcast. Um, so today it's just the two of us because obviously it's a first episode and it's an introductory type of one. But in the long run, we want to bring on people. Um, yeah, man, entertainers, you know, like me. <laughs> me uh, and this homie, actually. Eh? I, I don't think they're gonna be ready for this podcast. I'm not gonna eh? be ready, because, actually. Yeah, we got stories for days, guys. Yeah. Like, <laughs> and we always outside, man. We outside. We outside. Yeah. So, yeah, but yeah, this is pretty much. Um, it's gonna be a chill podcast. Uh, we don't want to make it too serious. Also, mm-hmm. also, we just don't want it to be all of fun and we want to be informative educational as well at the same time so we're just trying to strike a balance want to want to touch on want to touch on everything um in as much as we want to entertain we want people to be informed you want someone to watch an episode and say oh i actually lived with this today or i learned this from the podcast today or this guy on the podcast really had a very interesting story to tell or i learned something or i can relate to this person's life so that is what we are going for with the podcast. I mean, yeah, I can almost imagine the exciting episodes that we have that are coming up. So yeah, the excitement is a lot, man. It is. It is actually like I'm. I'm buzzing, man. I'm buzzing, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I really can't. I, I I can't wait to to get this yeah. off the ground and just you know, let's run with it, man. And I'm thinking uh, let's we could, run with it. We could have toasted to this, but now we only have water. So. It was but a, it's, uh, a Jack and Coke. Uh, let's pretend, eh? Yeah. Let's pretend it's Jack and Coke. Yeah, sure, mm-hmm. sure, sure. Yeah, again, one of the things I hope we can share on this podcast is our frustrations, especially as the youth. Yo, the cost of living has gone up. I mean, I, I don't even want to talk about petrol. You know, I used to... A full tank would last me... Okay, for me, a week because I drive Western Pipers every day because of where I live. But now, ah, yo, yo, yo. How if much are you paying for a full tank before? Less than 900 bucks, man. Yeah, I yeah, think 800. But now, um, I can never make the mistake of saying full tank and then go inside <laughs> the service station. But when I come back, ah, yeah, yeah. Problem, problem. Nah, the, the fuel prices are really killing us, man. And then um, today I read, actually read an article in the Namibia mm-hmm. about service stations wanting to go on a uh, seven day strike. Because um, they are saying that when the government imports this fuel, yeah. because uh, the fuel is cheap at the coast, right? At Wallfish Bay, yep. it's always the cheap. I think that's the benchmark on the prices. Yeah. So they say it comes in at about eight Namibian dollars a liter. Damn. And yeah, and imagine, I think we're paying like 22 point something for a liter now. Crazy, crazy. And the service stations are like, they only get 5% profit, 5%. So imagine how many levies are being put on that. Ah, that's insane. From just that rise from $8 to is 22 That's insane. You know, it's the saddest part is, man, the fuel prices are going up, everything is going up. Salaries are the same, my brother. The money from the side hustle is the same, you know. There's no extra income. Life is really hard. So again, like I said, most of you are probably just as frustrated as we are. So let's let's have these discussions in the comment, yeah, comments below. Also, I think... I speak to be corrected, but I think like the civil servants haven't had a salary increase in the last six years or so. And then um, I saw a picture from 2015 and this year, like a comparison on the petrol prices. Mm-hmm. So I think back then a litre was like $13 or something, and then now it's 22 something. So just look at that difference and then just check someone hasn't had an increase a salary increase but everything else is going up but your salary is just the same ah that's why also, i mean look at it from also from a from an from a perspective of being a cab driver i mean you 
What's what's the price of, of, of a cab now? I haven't taken a cab in a minute. Uh, I think it's it's thirteen bucks. Thirteen bucks. Yeah, thirteen bucks. But that's not even a liter, bro. That's yeah. not even a liter of petrol. <laughs> I mean, you get you you, you get you have to to pick up one person who's giving you thirteen bucks from Tura. You drive them to to town. It's the, um, thirteen dollars. You can't even put in a liter of petrol in your car. It's and I, I think they also wanna go on on strike if if they if their increase uh, increases are not like um I think they. They tabled like a proposal to yeah. increase the taxi fares, so they're like, if 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 they're not increased, then they're also gonna go on a strike. So fairly, fairly so, fairly so, man, fairly so. But then again, now it it, it, it comes down to hurt the person who has to take care of every day also because now the price is gone up. So yeah, no, it's rough, it's rough out here. It is, man. So Atulio Mepo, what does Brace, brace yourselves for inflation. Crazy. It's actually happening already. I think it's just gonna get worse. There's a time I miss when I was a kid, man. Because I hate to worry about any of those things, bro. I was living your life playing in the sand. All you cared about is let's go play one parlay with your homies and whatnot. But now you have to worry about all the same stuff. Yeah. This is what they never want to say yeah, when they bro. when they speak about adult thing becoming an adult. Growing up, growing up looks exciting from from a child's perspective. But once you get here. Uh, Ah, we're seeing flames. It's crazy, man. It's but crazy. yeah, we live to tell the tale, man. Yes, so I think a very short and brief uh, first episode. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, there's more coming. Um, so I think we'll just leave it here for today. Yeah. Uh, once again, guys, uh, Velvicha TV. Don't forget to subscribe. Let's let's push the numbers, guys. Um, we promise you we're going to give you like dope, dope content. Oh, sure. Awesome content. So yeah, let's let's push the numbers and yeah. join us on this journey, man. We're not YouTubers, but uh, the whole shebang. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, put your notification bell on so you're notified every time we, we, drop, uh, an we, we drop an episode. Yeah. That's the other one they like to say. Uh, yeah, all those things, all those nice things that come. Don't when forget you're to like the video. <laughs> don't forget to leave a like. Yeah, all those things. Yeah, so. Yeah, yeah um, and also don't don't forget the uh, name suggestion. So guys, in the comments below, just yeah, just we'll, suggest. We'll really, we'll really appreciate it, man. And we'll actively be um, checking the comment box just to to see what you guys are putting out there. Yeah, good.